Welcome back to my channel. Today's feature will be a different one because we will be able to know a machine, the new technology created by our Filipino Singaporeans. Yes, and it's selling hot cakes in some other countries. And we're fortunate today that the CEO, architect James Pilande, is kind enough to present to us the Luminaire. And we will know everything about Luminaire later, okay? But before we get going, you know the drill. If you're not yet part of my Tassative Club, just click the red button, subscribe, and hit the notification so that you will be alerted whenever I have new exciting vlog like this, okay? So let's start! John, can you see my screen? Okay. So, uh, let's start. Uh, good morning, everyone. Architect Alan, Jack, John, good morning. and Engineer. Uh, if you're here already, uh, I think uh, we can start the presentation. Because I wanted to uh, present our Singapore product called the Luminaire. So we've been developing this for two years and we've been selling it in Singapore for almost a year. And uh, so far, it's one of the top selling uh, UVG devices in Singapore. Okay? So without further ado, let me start. Okay, the screen is... Okay. So looking there is an uh, essential device in our fight against COVID-19. So the one that is pictured is the Luminaire Basic. It's a medical grade air disinfection device which is similar to what's the one on the right. So first, uh, I wanted to discuss about what is UVGI air disinfection. So UVGI is called ultraviolet germicidal radiation. Maybe not a lot of people are, uh, you know, you know, are uh, quite aware of what UVGI is. So basically, this technology has been used uh, since the 1930s to fight uh, missiles, to fight polio. In the 1950s, they used it to fight tuberculosis. And currently, in the US and in Europe, they are using it in, uh, to combat hospital-acquired infections. So I think it's not really that uh, that new. The technology is new. It's a, it's an old technology, but so far it's a proven technology, right? So what I mean by proven is because it's been used for a long time. So we wanted to we just wanted to use twenty the the twentieth century or the twenty first twenty uh, first century technology to this device. So this device, I mean UVGI, I think you can also find it in. Uh, in the AHU units, they put it on ducting to put it in the, ano, the mga bacteria and fungi na nakadikit dun sa coils. Okay, and then they also have the upper room which they also put it in classrooms. You know, but this one is a bit more tricky because this one, there's an exposure of UV. Although it's seven feet uh, from the ground, so it's quite high. And then it's only nakatapat sa ceiling. So for in convection wise, that means it will kill it will kill the virus that goes up into the ceiling. And of course, what we have is currently we call it the recirculation units. So these circulation units is something like the same as uh, air, uh, air purifiers, except for we deploy a very powerful UV inside the device. So what I mean is uh, UVGI is a function of UV intensity and exposure time. So. I mean, you know, in order for us to kill the virus within a very short span of time, we need to have a very strong UV, you know, which is about 30,000 microwatts of centimeters squared of UV power, okay? And then uh, we also need uh, to have an exposure time. That's we, that means if you can see the device, mahaba siya. Bakit siya mahaba? It's because the travel from the top, you know, and then going to the bottom and it expands the air, Okay, we need the time of 0 0.9 seconds. Pero technically, 0 0.6 seconds lang pa ito ng virus. Okay. So, what are the key, fen key benefits of UVGI or disinfection? Like what I mentioned, you know, 
yung uh, air purifier they only kill particulate matters by the PDOC so the focus of UVGI is uh, for viruses and bacteria right so you can see normal air purifiers have a filter and carbon filter UVGI also our device also have a, have a filter and have a carbon filter okay, at the back there is this uh, one meter long uh, UV lamp Okay, so that is the, the that is the gist. Okay, yun yung pumapatay ng virus. Yung, yung 30,000 microwatts of centimeters square the UV power, which is enclosed in a chamber. So, hindi siya delikado. Kasi the stigma about UV is, they say, ah, delikado. No, no, it's not. You cannot see it. You cannot touch it. It's enclosed in a chamber at the back of this device. So, for sure, it will be very safe. Okay? So again, the focus is on uh, biological pathogens. Okay? So what is the luminaire advantage? So like what I say, basically it's shielded so the UV is safe. And then uh, again, uh, air purifiers can only trap uh, some uh, bigger particles, which is anything more than 0 0.3 microns. And the virus is less than 0 0.15 microns, which is a lot smaller. Okay? So, definitely hindi na papa, hindi na nafi-filter nung HEPA filter yung mga virus na rin talaga mga nakakalusot. So, yung mga nakakalusot ngayon na virus, it is time for this, uh, you know, for the UV inside the chamber to eliminate the DNA of the virus. Okay? And then in our other uh, devices like what Jack have, it also have this uh, light, what I mean, hindi siya light. Okay? So basically, an advantage, you know, it's shielded, it's safe, you know, and then it's better than air purifiers, and it's also like a dual function, you know, it's also light fixture and an air purifier system, okay? And then, uh, our device is a Singapore patented device, okay? We have, we just acquired the patent for this design of this device just recently, as of 13 December, which is just not almost a month and a half ago, we are able to get the patent. So the patent was awarded to us on 13 December 2021, after about uh, almost one and a half year of submission. So we came through the, uh, the design, uh, design patent process. So this is how, uh, I mean, this is the pendant uh, fixture. This is how it looked like. It is an active system with a fan that uses differential pressure to suck the surrounding air towards the UV and radiation chamber, right? And then, of course, there is a switch. This one is different from the basic unit. Actually, it functions the same, except for this one has a light, and this mm -hmm. one is just like uh, a plain, uh, a plain uh, device with a stand. That's why we call it basic. So this is how it works. I mean, I just wanted to, to clearly explain how it works, okay? So yan yung mga, mga virus particles. And you can see the virus particles moving into the fan because the fan, using differential pressure, sucks the air. Okay, and then it passes through a series of filters. Like what I say, we have a, we have a pre hepa filter inside, you know? Then pagpaso, it will be sucked into the chamber so the chamber is enclosed. You can see there is this dual lamp at the back. Okay, so there is this, nasa pagpasok sa chamber, meron siyang mga reflector. So meron mainit na mainit dyan kasi meron dyan dalawang malakas na UV lamp. So, you know, the radiation chamber will be inside to very uh, dual power for 254 nanometer na UVC light. And then by 0.9 seconds to 1.2 seconds, but it is able to lay virus. Mm -hmm. So three-fourths the way, sigurado eliminated the virus. Yung, yung DNA ng virus is already totally eliminated. Okay? Baga napatay na natin yung virus. And then it just goes out to the, ano, to the other side of the, to the outlet. So inlet, you know, you filter it and then bring it to the chamber. You, you kill the, the virus into the chamber and then you bring it out on the other, on the other outlet and then that's it, it's already a clean air, okay? 
So we have another we have another filter, carbon filter for those. Because uh, papa kami malusot pa. Pero a uh, carbon filter will be more on the PVOC and the formaldehyde. Okay. So what? Uh, let's let's talk about uh, zonal protection factor. So one of these can cover 25 square meter at an air exchange of 100 times per hour. It's not it's not really that great. It's not an air purifier because we really need to to slow down the velocity of the air in order for it to have the proper exposure time. To so hindi kami nakikipagtagi sa ng lakas ng ng blow sa air purifier because definitely for them the more the more the faster the better because they can filter. But the difference between this and ours is we need we need a lot we need a slower velocity in order for us to kill uh, the virus effectively. Okay, so again, it's about 25 square meter and every hour or every 30 minutes, okay? depending on the airflow. Okay? That device. Yeah. yeah. So we have tested and certified this. Actually, we spent almost thirty thousand dollars for all our testing and certifications. Okay. So some of it are supported by uh, the Singapore government. We are able to get grants from them to enterprise in the poor. So one is the test certificate coming from PUV, SUV, PSP Singapore, which is like, uh, uh, I mean, you know, something like UL in the US or something. So this is this is uh, Productivity and Standards Board Singapore. Okay. So the other one is we also send it over to to an aerobiology lab, to a microbiology lab in China. Because, uh, I mean, you know, there are only a few aerobiology labs. Uh, some are in, uh, I think there's one or two in the US, Germany, Japan, and of course China. China, they already have the labs. Mm -hmm. you know, so we send it to uh, Guangzhou, okay? So we have both the electrical safety and the aerobiology testing. So in the aerobiology testing, what we use is, is we cannot use COVID, definitely, but we use a surrogate. A surrogate is something which is almost the same as COVID, which is the H1N1 influenza virus. So it's a flu virus, same size, everyday composition, and stuff like that. DNA, so, you know, we are able to eliminate 99.99% of the of the virus when it passes through the chamber. Okay, so bacteria is 100 percent and stuff like that. And the influenza virus is 99.99%. So we already have tested this. I mean, you know, we have uh, I mean that's the certification because this is the only way you can test it when you send it over to microbiology testing. And then these are also the, te the other tests that we conducted. We have a CE test, so we can send it over into Europe. And then we also have to send it over for ozone testing, because it has a UV. So the only problem is there might be some ozone coming out of the UV, which is uh, technically, that those are the old labs. But since we are using Philips, you know, it's about 185 nanometers filters all of those 185 nanometer wavelength no ozone, so we're able to kill this. We're also able, uh, Philips Labs also able to eliminate that ozone. Okay. So what are, who are the competitors? So apparently we have quite a lot of competitors in the beads. I mean, you know, previously in 2021, we had a Pero ngayon, uh, UV Angel coming from the USA, and then there is Philips UVC A200, which just came out in, uh, this year. Okay, uh, it's definitely very similar to, to the Luminaire. You know, actually, Philips also studied the Luminaire. That's why they allow us to use their lamps. You know? So we are also, you, uh, there's also some uh, air disinfection devices from Italy. Okay. And then uh, there's also uh, other devices from, uh, this one is from Germany, Sterilair, which is similar to what, what, what one of our products we have in Singapore, which is the Resulta. Okay, and then, of course, American Ultraviolet, uh, Atlantic Ultraviolet, they also have it. Uh, but uh, those are, for them, those are very old models, you know, Malayla So 
So these are these are the first generation UVG I devices. And then another thing is Philips came up with another device called the Active Air, but then it's also very similar to ours. Air comes in with the, with the virus, it goes out without the virus. And then of course it's the maximum coming from the engine. So all of this is have a very, very similar technology. Okay, that means it has a fan that sucks, bring it to the uh, chamber, and then the chamber disables and then it will go out. So it, it, it basically it has a similar it has a similar uh, function, similar technology. Okay? But you can see the prices are about 42 USD, it's 73, 2000. You know, others, uh, this, this, this territory is about, I think, 3,000, 4,000 euros, okay? Then going back, you know, this one is 190, this one is 1,650 euros. Basically, uh, ours is a lot cheaper than that. Okay? I give the pricing to Jack as our mm -hmm. seller, okay? So Jack will, will, uh, will uh, <laughs> give you the prices. Yes, I'll give you the prices. She's our reseller. Yeah, but anyway, we have a standard retail price, so I, I, I think Jack will also mention that later on. Okay. Going forward, yeah, the I, I just wanted it to make it sure. Anyway, like what I mentioned, we, it's, a, it's a very effective device because it's a proven device. We didn't mix and match a lot of technologies like what other people are doing or like other companies are doing is because we wanted to focus on what is effective, you know. I mean, off the record, we already tested it with real situ in, in real life situations in, 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 uh, in, uh, both, in the, both in Singapore and in the Philippines when it comes to real life viral situations, you know. So, uh, I mean, I think for, for me, personally, I'm confident this thing works. You know, I haven't had have COVID yet because of this. So i leave you with that. Okay. So currently, uh, what do you call this? We have new stocks that came into to, uh, to the Philippines already. That's why I'm starting to aggressively sell the product. It's because it's not really available in the Philippines. Okay. So I think I leave it, I leave it with that. And then, uh, Tayo lang ako konte. Give me a few. Yes. The entire UVGI is happening at the back. Okay, go over it, sir. So I try to. I just try to to, to show you. Okay. So dito siya. Ang tinatanggal lang naman dito usually madalas yung HEPA filter. Mm -hmm. So madali siyang palitan. Magnetic ito matatanggal siya. And then sorry a demo demo to wala kaya medyo na dumi. So this is the HEPA filter. This is the HEPA filter. Okay. Dito medyo puti pa siya. Okay. So you can still probably use it for almost maybe, maybe a month. But uh, ang, ang suggestion namin is replace this every yeah. uh, three months. Or every three months. Yeah, every three months. So, you know. Even and, sa mga ano, hospitals, clinics, every three months? Yeah, so, siguro three months din siya. Kasi I suggest uh, for us, uh, we usually operate this about uh, what do you call this? Uh, the John. Para makita. Yan. So, uh, anong tawag dito? Uh, 24 hours kung binubuksan ito. Wow. Hindi ko siya po ng patayan ito. So, 24 hours? 24, yeah. 24-7? 24-7. Sa aircon. 24-7. Hindi ako, ano. I mean, nakakaray ng palit na rin ako ng filter. Pero itong unit na to, you know, on ko siya 24 seconds. So, Kasi, walang, walang chance na mag-short circuit mo, gano'n? No, no. No, no talaga? 24 seconds, I've been using this for almost a year or two. Do we need parang yung, ano, yung transformer, mga gano'n? Uh, no, home no, flow, basically, it's, uh, it's just, ano, uh, it's just, uh, what do you call this, normal uh, plug. Okay. So, so, parang ito. Kaya lang ito, since this is a Singapore product, Bumili na ako ng adaptor yes. <laughs> of the Philippines market, right? So, I'll just, uh, I mean, most of our plugs are still using the UK plug because mm -hmm. of the Singapore product, pero 220 naman siya. Ang consumption niya ng electricity is 82 watts lang. Ah, 82 watts. So, 82 watts kasi, I mean, 
the lamp is uh, dual, uh, what do you call this? Dual 60. Tapos yung, yung fan niya, I think it's about uh, 20 watts or something. So, plus yung mga maliliit na ilaw, so all in all it's about... Uh, nasaan siya? Actually, kalahati oras kaya na. Depende yan sa airflow. Huwag ka lang mag electric pan eh. Kasi pag nag-electric pan ka, syempre magulo yung, ano niya, magulo yung airflow niya. Eh. You know? Pero kung aircon ka lang, kalabawa, kasi... Advisable naman to para sa aircon areas. Ah, sa aircon. Siyempre, so, of pa, course. I mean, the key ah, to fight COVID is ventilation. Yes. Okay? That's true. Buksan mo lang yung mga il, yung, buksan mo lang yung mga bintana, meron kang close ventilation, okay na yun. You know, pero siyempre, meron naman mga areas na talagang aircon. Mm -hmm. Pag aircon, we call it recirculating air. So, yung recirculating air ang kinitrain niya. Pag bukas naman yung bintana mo, actually, hindi mo na kailangan ito eh. Okay. Yeah. Ba, bukas lagi yung bintana mo. Buk nakabukas naman yung bintana. Sa indoor lang talaga siya. Yeah. No? Talagang, talagang pang indoor pang lang indoor ito. Ka. Kasi, I mean, pag bukas yung bintana, ano pa lilinisin niya? Wala na siyang lilinisin. Kasi, Kasi nagpuflow naman, naman yan. Diba? Ito, mangyayari lang naman dito, sisipsipin nito, lalabas dito. Importante ito pag natutulog ka. Okay. Kaya kung papansin, napaka-effective sa akin ito kasi natanggal ang sipuro dito. Nat natanggal yung nasal mm. allergy ko dito. At siya yung nakapagtanggal ng nasal allergy ko. Nakabili mm. na ako ng mga ibang air purifier, hindi natatanggal eh. So ngayon, yung ginawa ko, inabit namin ito. Pag ngayon, pagpagising pag pag ko, wala na yung nasal allergy ko. So mm. yun yung isa sa pinaka isa pang tulong. So, hindi, siya, hindi lang siya all about COVID. Mm -hmm. right? It's more into general indoor air quality talaga ang ina-address niya. Okay? Yeah. Ah, yan lang. Yeah. So, so, plug and play. Yan. Yan. Okay. Oops, sorry. So, okay. so, so makikita mo lang na gumagana siya kasi meron siyang blue na ilaw sa ilalim. Pero ah, may sound siya, eh, no? Siyempre may sound. Kasi oh, kailangan oh, natin may fun, eh. Yeah. Pero yan lang ang ingay ng fan niya. So, meron pa ano yan? <laughs> o, oh, meron. Siyempre. Yan, ang sumisip-sip yan. Ito ang sip-sip. Ito, ito yung sip-sip. Ito yung labas. Ito yung labas. Yan. Yeah. Ito ang sip-sip. Ulit-ulit. Ang virus na nandito eh. Sana ang sip-sip. <laughs> ito ang sip-sip. Okay. okay. O, oh, yan. Kita mo, may ikot yung fan. Buti na lang, talagang napakatibay nitong demo unit na to eh. Tsaka ano siya, mas gusto ko yung color niya black. <laughs> Oo, oh, meron siyang black, meron siyang white. Gusto ko yung black. Sa check-in yan, o oh, ayan o. Oh. Ang kitigahan lang, tingnan mo, makikita mo. Oo, oh, ano. Ayan, so dito dumadaan yung hangin. Pag nakasarado siya, syempre diretso siya. Dito, ayan, makikita mo, masisilip mo yung UV na andun sa loob. Ayan, di ba? Ayan o, oh. oh. yung fan. So pahigo pang fan nito, patulak dun. Pati fan nito, pasadya. Pinasadya natin yung fan niya. Na. Okay, ano yan? Uh, what do you call this? Custom made. Para yung fan speed. Tsaka yung direction ng... Direction ng buga ng hangin. So, pasipsip siya dito. Pabato siya dun. Mas pala ba siya dun sa mabila? Okay. So, pero wala na ba siya effect ng parang air fan na the usual air fan na parang lumalamig din yung environment? Wala Ay, naman. Wala. wala. Mas more on na na lang. Yeah, Kasi di ba there is a fan, a very expensive brand, mm. na fan siya at the same time, air purifier siya. Uh, ano yun? Dyson? Was, yeah, 42,000. Uh, Dyson is very expensive. Yes. Uh, I mean, so, yeah. uh, probably Kasi, less than another 40%, 30% yata. Sir, pag ano yung Dyson? 42. Oh my God, 42. For that fan. Uh, so, ang Dyson... Ang, ang, ang ano lang nila is they have a filter. They have a Saka filter. Saka filter. Yes. Tapos nasa loob yung fan. Yes. Pero wala silang UV. Oh, wala silang okay. UV. So, I, I, I mean, you know, for me, I, 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 doesn't, I, I mean, I think for me, everything is effective. Yes. You know, basta meron siyang HEPA filter, effective yan. Mm -hmm. You know, basta meron siyang carbon filter, effective yan. Kasi, uh, what do you call, this air purification has been around for, for, for long. Mm. So I'm not really, I'm not really saying, no, hindi yan, ganito yan, mas mm -hmm. amin. The only advantage we have, for me, and which I can confidently say, is we have 
uh, we can kill biological pathogens, virus and bacteria. And because we you have the Actually, we have the UV. The UV. Oh, so, padadaanin natin siya dun sa UV. Eh, yung UV nito, malakas ang UV nito sa likod eh. Yes. You know? Ayaw kong buksan kasi medyo... Of course. No need. Siyempre, no. medyo delikado yan. Ang ganda ng base, ano? Ang ganda ng base, ano? Yan ang kailangan kong base eh. Mm. So this base is designed by uh, architect Tierra. Oh, oh nga eh. <laughs> Kaya ganito ang room in there. Ang ganda ng base, nagagandahan. in fairness. Kasi puro mga designer ang gumawa. Oo, oh, oh, designer. Architect eh. Yeah. Tapos si Rene, di ba? Yeah. So si Rene ang nag-ano, ang, ang, ang bumanat niya ang ano na yan. Ang ganda nga nung base eh. Si Rene eh. ang gumawa nitong base, nag-design ng base. Very nice. So natatanggal din yung base na yan, pwedeng hiwalay. Kasi nga, um, in Singapore, we sell it separately. Okay. The room in the base. Pero I, I think, I reckon in the Philippines, hindi nila maaintindihan kung paano ikabit. So I was a I, 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 we recommended na we One na lang. together. Yes. Ganyan na nga. So it's ano na, it's included na with the SRP? Oh, base. it's included na. In-include ko na. Gumawa. Kaya bago na nga yung price list. Send ko sa'yo. Ah, na send na. mo sa akin. <laughs> Pero hindi masyado lumayo. Hindi okay. siya masyado lumayo. So uh, the prices of the pendant and the basic is different, right? Of course, of course. So, mas mahal na nga yun ito. Ah, mas mahal na yung base. basic. Okay. Because of the base. Kasi yung pendant naman, tanggalin mo lang ito. Yeah. Palitan mo siya ng, ng diffuser, tapos mm. nilagyan namin ng LED sa loob. Yun na yun eh. Right? It's the same. It's, it's basically the same. So everything is the same. Mm. Yeah. Oy, dali, nagtaas ng kamay oh. Nagtaas ng kamay. John! Nagtaas <laughs> 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 Wala naman, ang replacement parts nito is uh, consumable natin dito is ito nga, itong HEPA filter. Bukas na, bukas na. Mali ako na dapat sila. Every three months, yeah, ang replacement. Every three months, oo. Oh. Typical, lahat naman ng HEPA filter, nagre-replace ka talaga. Maybe siguro yung question ni Architect, it's more on the maintenance part. Uh, wala naman, syempre yung UV. Eh yung UV lamp naman natin, Philips. Para so you can buy it na lang. hours yan. Oh. 18,000 hours. So, kung hindi mo, pag ginamit mo siya ng 24-7, dalawang taon. Mm. Kung gagamitin mo lang siya ng may timer ka, kasi si Rene, maraming ginagawa dyan, nilalagyan din ni Rene ng timer. Ah, yan. okay. Sa bahay nila, naka-timer. Sa ah. akin naman, nakakabit sa smart smart device. Okay. So, that means, pwede ko siya sabihin through Google, Hey, Google, on the looming. So, you can connect it with your ano, devices. Oh. Kasi, kasi yung, there is an app. For that? Hindi. Oh, Siyempre, ikakabit mo siya sa ano? Ikakabit mo siya sa smart diba? sa smart plug. Ah, okay. So, pagkabit mo siya sa smart plug, ipaplug mo siya dun sa smart plug. So, sasabihin mo kayo kay Google. Ah, okay. Okay. Diba? O kaya, pwede mong i-control yung app dito. <laughs> Oo, oh, so, sa app, ano? Sa, sa phone. Sa phone. So, pwede mo siyang timeran din. Hmm. O kaya, sa amin, sa bahay, every 10.30 ito bumubukas sa Singapore. Mm -hmm. Kaya, kita ko rin sa phone ko pag bumubukas. Okay. Iya, iya, ano ka. So, ang next generation nitong, next generation nitong device natin is we will be integrating a lot of IOTs. Pero, what, what we wanted to do is we wanted to, to, to make it separate from the device para, you know, hindi siya masyadong, kasi ang ganda na eh, sim, ano siya, minimalist siya. Yeah, Simple I like it. Approach niya, mm. di ba? I mean, pwede I mong like ilagay, the look. Pwede mong ilagay sa kanto. Anyways, ikaw, Architect Alan, do you have questions? Architect Alan, do you have any questions? So basically, yung ano lang naman lagi, yung parts. Lagi yeah. lang. Oh, yung lang. parts. Mm -hmm. lang, kahit saan naman sa mga equipment o uh, appliances, mm -hmm. yung wear and tear ng parts, mm -hmm. yun lang naman. Kung available naman na sa Pilipinas, mm -hmm. wala namang problema. Mm -hmm. Ang ano ko lang kasi ang ginagamit ko Philips yung yung oh. ano yung Philips lamp. So yung Philips lamp uh, pwede kang gumamit ng ibang lamp. It doesn't necessarily mean hindi ka pwedeng gumamit ng ibang lamp basta T8 tsaka pareho ng haba. Kasi uh, parang fluorescent tube lang naman yun. So basically ito, T8. Ito. Ang ito, ah, T8 din to. Oh. So ang ang parts lang yan the HEPA filter and the UV lights. Yes. Parehong nasa price list yan. Kasi yun lang naman talaga yung papalitan eh. Yung fan, pag nasira yung fan, pwede nyo dalhin sa amin, i-replace na lang namin. Okay, But, without charge yeah, yun. O may warranty ka? Warranty yan, eh. oh, two years, two years warranty. Oh, two years naman yung warranty yan eh. Okay. So shouldn't be much of a problem. 
Tsaka yung fan, wala namang problema yan. Minsan, I mean, hindi rin naman siya nadudumi yan. Kasi nga, dadaan muna dito yung dumi. So, hindi siya nakaalik ang bukan. So, so far, yung fan, wala, wala, wala kami naging problema sa fan. Okay? So, yun lang naman ang moving part nito, yung fan. Eh. The rest is the ballast, yeah. which is, I think, a ballast is a ballast. Hindi mm-hmm. ba dali yung ano yan. Tsaka, syempre, meron siyang power supply. Tsaka, ang IP namin dito, ang, inter- ang IP namin, which is part of the patent, is meron kami isang maliit na PCB, mm-hmm. which sinks everything. Yung, yung fan, yung UV, yung balas, tsaka yung, tsaka yung light. Minam, minam, min, ano niya, sinisip. Yes! Yep! Mm. Elevator to sa Singapore pa rin, sa Raffles, kinabit na. Ah. Hindi na, tinanggal, hindi na muna kailangan ng base. Nilagyan na lang to save haba, oh. Nilagyan na lang ng bracket. Bracket na lang siya. Ito, oh, baga... Hindi, naka, hindi, kaya hindi siya nakapendant. Naka, ano lang siya, nakabracket lang siya. Nakapatong lang siya mismo, parang may bracket siya. Tapos... Hindi kasi pwede mo naman siyang tanggalin eh. Yung so, sa base? Oo, oh, tanggalin sa base. Actually, sa Singapore, binibenta namin ito, iwala yung sa base. So, 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 oh, sige, sige, isesend ko sa'yo, isesend ko sa'yo. Yeah, pa, pin, pa, uh, pinakawa na ako kaya rin na yun eh, pero hahanapin ko. Pero ano to, walang problema to. Pwede kong ilagay sa gilid, pwede mo... Depende kasi 1.2 naman yung haba niya eh. So kung yung elevator, 1 point, eh, mas, sigurado namang mas malapad sa sa 1.2 yung elevator, di ba? You know? Uh, so, actually yung ano, yung ultraviolet, di ba? Yung unang-unang 5 minutes niya, there's a possibility magkaroon ng amoy. Why? It's because doon mo malalaman na effective. Kasi pagpasok ng mga bakterya, yung kagad ang papatayin niya. Pero hindi yan magtatagal. Within, by ano, after 5, maximum 10 minutes yan, wala na. Kasi ikiklin niya kagad yung air. Eh. Diba? Meron ba? Eh, meron kayo na amoy? Wala naman. <laughs> ah, ngayon? Ah, ngayon, meron kayo wala, na amoy. Wala, naka-face mask ako. Okay, naka-mask kayo. Eh. <laughs> Pero ako, wala naman ako na amoy. Pero you know, sanay na lang siguro. So, may maamoy ka pang nag-work na siya? Parang... Yo, pero sandali lang. 5 minutes, 10 minutes. What's lang. the smell? What kind of parang smell? Parang tubig. Uh, parang water. Na parang chlorine? Ganyan? Oo, uh, parang ganun. Uh, pero hindi siya ozone. Ha? Definitely, it's not ozone. Kasi tested ang, ang, ang ozone. Tsaka meron kami certificate na hindi sa ozone. Okay. Talagang ano lang talaga yun, John. Talagang minsan merong uh, chances ng ganun. Yeah, pero pero madalas yun sa exposed UV, yung mga nakalabas, yung mga pinapang pinapang uh, pinapang disinfect nila ng ano, pinapang disinfect nila ng uh, surface. Yung mga nabibili yung mga China ay nasa labas. Ako delikado yun. Sa amin bago sa Singapore tour bawal ngayon yun, hindi pwedeng ka magbenta ng exposed. Oh, syempre. <laughs> Kasi nga minsan, you know, hindi pag pag hindi tama ang instruction, kaya yung mga bata, nalingat ka, yung bata, binuksan yung pintuan. Mm-hmm. Diba? Pa, matuntuwa pa siya, tinitingnan niya yung, yung UV, sunod na pala yung mata ng bata. Ayun kaya yung whiskey. Yeah. So, uh, the first few uh, months of the pandemic, may pumapasok na, nakapagpapasok sila. Pero within 2 to 3 months, bang na agad sila. Mm-hmm. So ngayon, kaya nga ito sa amin, wala kayong magiging problema kasi Nakasealed eh Nang yeah. nasagit na, nakasealed pa siya yeah. Yeah. So yan, yan yung advantage Kaya pwede natin i-benta to It's safe to use even on occupied spaces yeah. That's a wrap again, my lovely main chassipips And thank you so much for spending time with us And hope you enjoy learning today From the CEO of Luminaire Architect James Pelande. Luminaire 
air disinfection device is now available here in the Philippines. If you want to get one, you can reach me anytime through my contact details down below the description box. Another intervention to fight COVID-19 is to have a better ventilation at the same time to have a clean air. That's why we need Luminaire for that. Okay? So I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Love you. Hi. Let us talk about UVGI and how it can help fight COVID-19. Recently, the World Health Organization has confirmed that the primary source of transmission of the SARS-CoV-2 virus is through aerosolized spray from infected individuals. It travels in the air for farther distance and longer times. As professionals in the built environment, we decided to develop the Luminaire, a device that can control the spread of the virus and make indoor air healthy and safe. Our technology is based on the ultraviolet germicidal irradiation, which is safe to use even on occupied spaces. The device has an active fan to draw air to a series of filters, pass through an enclosed chamber equipped with a high dose of UVC power, long enough to achieve the necessary exposure time to kill the virus. The disinfected air is then recirculated back to the room with a proven 99.9% .9 effectivity. The enclosed chamber ensures that there is no ozone emission and no UV light leak that may harm the skin and eyes. The Luminaire is the best device against viruses and other airborne pathogens.